Good morning. Are you ready to go out and run around? Yes. Good morning. Pretty girl. Yeah, were you playing with your ball? Yeah. How about you? Are you ready to go out and play? I got this on the Nextdoor app for $30. I couldn't believe it. I saw this on Amazon a while back and I really liked it, but it was somewhere around like $130, something like that. And I just didn't really want to purchase it for that price. But when I saw it on Nextdoor, I grabbed it up. I believe I'm just going to put this in my bathroom for a little more storage but I absolutely love it. Um, yeah, it's just giving me all the feels. I hung these shelves up here in the bathroom. Don't mind all the plants. I just took them all down for uh, fall, but I need to take them up to my room. Um, but anyway, I think I wanna move these shelves somewhere else in the house, and then I'm gonna put the cabinet right here. That way I can put all of my perfumes and whatnots in it and then it's closed up. Even though it has glass on it and you can see through it, it's not as exposed. My stuff isn't ex won't be as exposed as it is now. Here it is all finished. I absolutely love it. I'll show you guys in another video how I style it. But for now, I need to take a break and play with my boys.
Okay, here it is hung up. I think it brightens the space a lot better than the other one, which is what I need for the winter time and the dark, dreary nights and days. So I like it. It's a really nice um, cotton linen-y fabric, and I'll have it linked in the description box if you're interested. The other day, my boys and I did a little art project. We did some paw prints. They were so good. I was, I've was i been putting it off for a while because I thought it was gonna be a nightmare, but it took no time at all and they were awesome. So right here I have my oldest Diesel, my Black Lab. I have my smallest one, Parker. We have our the Kitty Cat Buster and then my youngest Tank as well as a frame to put them in and just wait until you see what I do with these. And here are the pictures I received. They're kind of hard to see because of the glare, but I have the boys on the staircase. So these are gonna go with the paw prints. I have Diesel and Tank, and I have Diesel and Buster, and then I have the three boys. Um, I don't have, any a lot of pictures from the new place like this so i have to have pictures from the old place that's okay they're just good memories there so i'm going to go ahead and get these hung up with the paw prints
All right, here is the wall of my babies. I absolutely love it. Of course, this is a little off kilter, but oh well, it is what it is. So stinking cute. After a day of getting things done around the house and the ranch, I was starving. So I'm going to make a little pumpkin risotto. I'm going to start with browning some bacon. And while that's browning, I'm going to chop up an onion. And when the bacon is done, I'm going to remove it from the pot and then add the onion straight into the bacon fat to cook. In the meantime, you want to get some vegetable stock, heat it up, and once it's almost to a simmer, go ahead and add your pumpkin puree, whisk it until it's well incorporated. Add the sprigs of thyme, a pinch of salt, and a few cracks of pepper to the onion. Stir the arborio rice in and allow to toast for a few minutes or so. Once it's toasted, add your white wine and cook it until it's completely absorbed. Once the rice has absorbed all the wine, you want to do one ladle at a time and add it to the rice until it is completely absorbed and then add another ladle. Do this very slowly. It is a process and what you're looking for is a really creamy, thick, smooth, texture of a deliciousness. This will take about 20 to 25 minutes, but it is completely worth it. Once everything is absorbed, add a couple tablespoons of some very good quality butter and mix it all in until it is completely melted. Then add a bunch of grated Parmesan cheese and mix that in until it's completely melted. And you guys, this, I kid you not, is better than restaurant quality. Absolutely delicious. Please make this. You will not regret it. You cannot taste the pumpkin at all. I promise you it is well worth it. You can add mushrooms, asparagus, anything you like. It is delicious. And of course, the bacon brings it over the top. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Please do not forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and that like button. And I hope to see you in the next video real soon. Bye.